The most profound impact of extreme poverty on the environment is its contribution to rapid population growth. A typical one-acre farm family in Bangladesh who lives on less than a dollar a day needs eight kids to survive. The farmer needs three sons. One to go get a job outside the farm and pay for the second son's education, which in turn will eventually, when he gets a government sinecure, help support the family. The third son is needed to help on the farm. To get three sons, you need eight babies because two of them, uh, by the laws of chance, are, uh, in those countries are likely to die before the age of two, which leaves six, half of which is three, which gets the three sons. When that farmer earns more income from farming and moves into the middle class, um, he not only uh, no longer needs uh, the big family in order to survive, um, but his daughters are likely to get an education and uh, less likely to have big families for the next generation. A good example of the impact of moving into the middle class on poverty is Krishna Bahadur Tapa, the farm family in the hills of Nepal that I described in every chapter of my book. They went from uh, earning uh, maybe a hundred dollars a year and growing most of the food they needed to eat to an income of uh, forty eight hundred dollars a year principally from ending up growing two acres of irrigated off-season crops but also from uh, having milk buffalo and buying some orange land first of all when they used uh, drip irrigation to grow off-season uh, vegetables, they used a much more precise form of, uh, of uh, horticulture, which uh, did not uh, produce light nitrogen leaching like they had before. Secondly, they now uh, used um, uh, more careful inputs and higher yielding rice so they sold 60% uh, more rice into the market, thereby alleviating the carbon footprint of uh, uh, bringing rice into this poor uh, hill area for farm farmers that uh, didn't grow enough rice uh, to eat. Finally, and most profoundly, every one of the uh, of Krishna Bahadur Tapa's grandkids uh, now will go to school as long as they have the ability and interest. That means high school. That means that uh, with education and with increased income, they are much less likely to have uh, the large families that make such a big contribution to rapid population growth and uh, environmental imbalance.